Uh, what we've got visiting us is uh, Taste of May, if you will. Highs in the low to mid 70s next couple of days, feeling more like derby weather than March. It's warm out there. Our rooftop camera shows that we've got very little happening. That wave of low pressure back to the west did spark some showers and storms and will again today. In fact, there's a severe threat back towards Kansas City, a slight risk for severe storms. Check out tomorrow, though. It expands from a slight to enhanced risk. And notice how it just cuts off right here in western Kentucky. Uh, so that is going to be a round of potentially severe storms that will blow in here Thursday night. Still could pack a little bit of a punch, but will likely be weakening as it goes. So it's something to watch out for. It'll be a really good shot of rain, I think, and we'll have some gusty wind to go along with it. And our precipitation chance does spike Friday, and that's mainly for that round going through into Friday morning. So here's how it plays out. Isolated showers and storms possible today. Keep your eye out, especially into our southern counties. Very limited coverage there. But as we go through the day tomorrow, that southwesterly wind continues to pump the warmth in here as well as increasing moisture. And eventually, after a few showers and storms tomorrow, here comes that line of strong to severe storms blossoming out to the west around St. Louis. This is the most likely place to see severe weather, and this is getting into Thursday evening. Now, that whole line will form into what should be a uh, more or less a, a squall line out towards uh, Illinois and Indiana. And as it pushes in early Friday morning, it's likely going to be weakening as it does so, but still some gusty wind, torrential rain. Possibly a few strong to borderline severe storms. Most of that threat's going to stay out west. You can see a few getting cranked down north of Nashville there, though. And then into the afternoon, on the back end of that low, we'll have some wraparound showers, lingering clouds. So Friday's not going to be a pleasant day. Rainfall amounts a few tenths of an inch upwards of an inch into our southwestern counties. And temperatures take a hit into the weekend as well. It's 51 in Lexington, 52 in Richmond. Our highs today should get up to around 70 degrees. Our normal high is about 15 degrees cooler. Overnight, we barely drop into the 50s, and then tomorrow, check this out, mid-70s. This is out ahead of that approaching cold front. And then, of course, the cool down after that front goes through overnight, you just saw it blow through. So we'll probably stay in the upper 50s to low 60s Friday. So it's not a big cold snap, but definitely no more 70s. The vernal equinox is March 19th. That is the beginning of spring by the calendar. And we're still showing this bullseye of below normal temperatures setting up as we get into the latter parts of the month of March. And you'll see that reflected in your eight-day forecast. Partly to mostly sunny, way above normal today. Take advantage of today and even tomorrow. Low 50s. It'll start to get gusty. It's a strong southwesterly wind Thursday. And eventually we'll throw some showers and storms into the mix. But look what happens to the temperature. We get knocked down. And we're still slightly above our normal high Saturday for the uh, the. St. Patrick's Day Parade and then Sunday for actual St. Patrick's Day. I think both days will be quiet, but the weekend is literally bookended by active weather. Monday, a few rain or snow showers around with lows possibly dropping back into the upper 20s. Colder air on the move just as spring gets started. We could go below normal by anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees, 43 degrees next Tuesday.